Hi, welcome to Last Stitch Effort. This is my podcast about using up my stash. Um, my name is Pakasha. I'm joining you today from lovely New Mexico, and we have fantastic fall weather and kind of can wear some knitwear now, so that's exciting. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot to talk about today, um, but that's okay. I'm making up stuff to talk about at this point since I, I have been doing a lot of knitting. Um, I just don't have a whole lot of projects on the go right now, so I thought I would bring out some mitts today to share with you since um, I shared my cowls last week. Um, anyway, this is not one of the cowls, but we'll talk about that. Um, I have a new setup. If you listened last week, I was talking about how my husband wanted to get me a ring light. Well, he did. And so that's what's holding my phone and I feel like it's flickering. I hope it's not showing up too much in the camera. I hope it's just maybe my bad eyesight, but I really, I feel like it's flickering and I don't know how to fix it. Um, and I didn't really have time to troubleshoot that before recording because I have to record right now. Anyway, um, so I guess let's get with it. Uh, what I'm wearing, this is a shawl that I, designed based on another shawl because I didn't have the pattern for the other shawl and I had a different weight of yarn. Um, the original pattern that I was interested in was Sam Lamb's Wellington Work Sock shawl and uh, instead of using worsted I just used a fingering and um, I'm not sure if she has the exact kind of shaping that I used but it uses Knit Picks palette in natural lipstick and asphalt twist. Um, I finished it last week and it was my finished object last week, but I actually got it blocked now and it's huge and it's perfect and I'm really enjoying it. This is the first time I've worn it today and um, yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. And now I want to make a sock monkey or make another version of this. Um, I kind of was thinking that sock monkeys were brown and white marl, and they are, and this is kind of a gray and white, so maybe I will do a brown, a brown and white one in the future. I don't know. That seems, that seems like something I would do. I kind of obsess on patterns or ideas and maybe just change on the colors, but anyway, that might happen. Oh, and my, my chair is really creaky. It's an old school chair from... Who knows when? I don't know. I got it for like a quarter at a garage sale and you get what you pay for, but it's cute. Um, anyway, so that is what I'm wearing. Um, I guess we will go right into, should we do finished objects? Let's do finished objects. Um, I finished my mom's socks out of leftovers. So I don't know what they are. Um, I know that the the gray is um, Knit Picks Stroll Pearlescent. It was just like a mini because they started coming out with mini kits a few years ago and um, I picked one up and yeah. So, and then I had like a lot, one of the colors is a variegated purple and the other is like a, a like a, a gray with some Stellina and then some speckles of bright colors. And I had a whole bunch of that, so I did one of the the ends of that. Not a whole bunch, but, you know, I wanted to use up that because it was such a cool special yarn. So one is like that, one is like this, which is the pearlescent stroll. Um, and I think she's going to like them. So, yeah, finish those. Um, pretty simple knit. Uh, I've got most of it done this week. Uh on the way to the symphony, I think. Or we went to the Roswell Symphony. So, it was lovely. And that's all I have finished. Um, I do have uh, this. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna show you this one on a sock blocker. Mark, my husband, made me these sock blockers out of the bottom of a drawer that was beside a dumpster. So I haven't woven in the ends of this one yet, but this is one of Hunter Hammerson's 
Crocus Vernus socks from Knitter's Curiosity Cabinet Volume 1, which is discontinued, but I don't know. You, I don't know. Don't demand that she release the pattern because she's kind of grabbed her her profession by the strings and she's doing what she wants to do right now and probably bullying her is not going to be the best option, but it is a fantastic book. If you do have the Knitter's Curiosity Cabinet books, they're really cool. They've got really nice designs, so or if you find one somewhere, grab it. Anyway, this is that. Uh, the yarn is Orange Flower Yarns. Um, it was a mystery pack that I got, so I don't know the color or the base. Um, but here's one of them. And I've kind of been, I don't know, going pretty slow on this project for a while. I don't know why. Like, I really like to do um, pattern socks. I have no problem doing that, except I kind of have to be sitting down with the, you know, the chart and I have to be able to concentrate. And I haven't had a whole lot of time, but I did make some time. And so I am pleased to say that I am an inch away from the decreases on the second sock now. So that will be finished. That will be finished very soon. And it would have been finished today, except last night I had to pull out like 20 rows because I needed, I had already started like the ending, I don't know, chart, and I needed actually another full repeat of this little design before I started that. I don't know, I wasn't thinking, I didn't count right, I was distracted, who knows. It could, all of those things, all of the above. Anyway, so that's a little egg roll progress keeper, which is kind of silly, but I like egg rolls. Okay, so that's where I'm at. So that will be probably a finished object, hopefully next week. Um, I kind of want to finish them today, to be honest. I'm really motivated to do it and excited. And then with the leftovers, I'm going to make her another pair of socks. I think I'm going to do this West Yorkshire Spinners 4-ply in milk bottle. And it's going to have little pink hearts. Uh, either just on the, like the foot, not the foot, the cuff area, the leg. Um, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But she's going to get another pair of socks using up the leftovers of these. Or mitts, but I think she likes socks more. I don't know. I don't think she watches so no I know she doesn't watch but anyway so yay okay um so that's pretty I only have one thing on my needles like this is it like after today I will have nothing on my needles so I don't know if you can tell from previous I don't know the previous couple of podcasts but things have changed back here because I've been digging around in my stash um last week I mentioned some cows that I like to knit and my husband watches and he was like, hey, actually, I would like a barley sugar. And I mean, when somebody that you like to knit for asks for something that you like to knit and then chooses a yarn that you want to knit with, you kind of go with it, right? So he will be getting a barley sugar with this Knit Picks Shadow in Larch Heather. And I'm... I mean, it's been discontinued for a long time, but it's kind of like a murky green, which is obviously like my favorite color ever. And he just texted me. So that was interesting. He texts me all the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, yeah. So that's the, probably the next thing that I'm going to cast on. I just have to get it wound up, which means I have to pull up my yarn winder and set it up and. I kind of think that's a pain in the ass, and I don't know about you guys, but um, and a lot of my yarn is in that setup, but what are you going to do? I, at least I have a yarn winder. I am very grateful that I have those tools, because that would be a pain if I did it. Um, and the next thing that I have, or that I'm going to cast on, is uh, Tax Six Clues. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's a pattern from the newest Shetland um, Wool Week book. And essentially, Hazel Tyndall wrote this pattern um, to use six balls of yarn and you can wiggle around how you use the colors and make... She made, I think, four pairs of mitts. 
Um, and I just grabbed some colors that I thought would be fun to use together, mostly like browns, green, it's browns, greens, and a shot of purple. And so these are going to be like my poison colors, which are the super bright pops that you, that is traditionally put into Shetland um, stuff. Anyway, it's in this little Trader Joe's cookie tin. Yeah. They're using. It's a cool thing. It's a good thing to do. Keeps the yarn in one place. Um, I don't think I have anything else in my basket that I need to talk about. So that's cool. Um, I think in my... I did a challenge where... I've talked about this before. Uh, I'm doing like 10 sweaters, 10 mittens, 10 hats, 10 socks, 10 shawls or cowls type things. And all I have left are two hand projects like mittens. So... Uh -huh. I finished my socks when I finished my mom's socks, so Nio's, my daughter's socks aren't going to count towards that, which is fine. Um, I need a sweater, I finished all my hats, and I need two scarf type cowl things, and this, I mean, this is lace weight. It's going to be almost 900, it's 880 yards of lace weight, and I will probably use almost all of it, so... And it's pretty small needles, so that may or may not make it. I may have to, I don't know. It's not that important that I finish this challenge that I made for myself. So, but that's where I'm at. So I have to do five more projects and then I'll, I'll have finished that little challenge for myself and yay. Anyway, so that's all I have, knit well, that's all I have current knitting progress wise, current and future. So I thought I would bring out a few, you know, all of the mitts that I still have in my possession that I haven't given away as uh, gifts and that I actually wear. So let's pull those out so you can see them. I act like I'm going to edit like in here, but I don't, I don't edit anything. That's, that's too much for me. So the first pair I actually didn't make and that is what makes them so special and they're kind of hard to put on because they're made of cotton. But my daughter, a few years ago, crocheted some mitts for me out of just cotton and they are quite comfortable. They're, I run hot all the time. I'm not, I don't get cold very often anymore. Um, so these are kind of just perfect. Um, the cotton is kind of hard when you first put it on, but um, it does hold its shape really nicely. And, I mean, I don't wear them a whole lot, but I do wear them. And if I have mittens on or like some of those thinner, you know, like $1 Target dollar spot type gloves, these are good on top of those to kind of keep them a little bit warmer because they're not very, they're not very well made. But, so I have these. Um, they are slightly more green than showing because this is that elusive color. All right. Yeah, cameras don't like this color, which is my favorite color, so. Okay, the next ones that are just right here. These are by, I think, Helen Gray, Gray with a A, designs called Bracken Mitts. And I just used like sock yarn leftovers which I guess that's kind of against the rules of traditional like Shetland Fair Isle type things which is what this pattern is um but I just yeah whatever so it's a different front end and I don't know palm um I looked on the Ravelry page for these and I I said that I didn't follow the pattern. I don't know what mods I did because it's been a while, but I just really like greens. And once again, there's that, the poison color would be like this one line, usually. I made a bigger poison section <laughs> on these because I really like, obviously I like that color. So, and I have a matching beanie. Um, well, not matching, matching, but I use the same colors and whatever, so love these mitts they look so much better in person because that green 
is crazy bright and it was kind of a one of a kind um, by Sock Obsessions Yarns who is a fantastic fantastic dyer of you know the whole like super wash hand hand dyed yarn but oh I mean her yarn just like glows it's fantastic but this color was called Olive Parton which was I thought Parton and um, I don't know I think this is some Rowan a fine art I think that's what it was called um, and then I don't remember I think this may be drops fable I think you're supposed to say fable and not fable but don't don't count on me to know the correct anything okay these are persickety persnickety mittens by uh, Spilly Jane and I've actually made a lot of Spilly Jane patterns. Most of them I leave as actual mittens. These I chopped into mitts, which just means I didn't finish the chart and I added ribbing. Um, these are Nitpicks palette. I think it's Brindle Heather and then not Cranberry Current. And the poison color is Fairy Tale, which is like a hot pink. And yeah, so I love these colors. These colors remind me, I've talked about it before, I think, uh, Stardew Valley. Um, my favorite season of Stardew Valley is in the autumn when she, you go and you pick the little berries. And I just think the colors of that whole season, I, it's fantastic. Now I want to play Stardew Valley, but I have to mop the floors today, so that won't happen. <laughs> Okay, let's see, these, I may have made a mistake. No, okay, these are Tedagoosh, Tedagoosh mittens, which I turned into mitts because that's what I do, um, by Virginia Settler Raymer, Reimer. I'm awful, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, these are Nitpicks palette. Um, this main color is opal heather, and then there's bison, I think. Um, raspberry heather is my poison color, and then that green is edamame, I think. Anyway, I have a whole set, like a huge shawl and hat or beret, and these, they all match. Um, I like to put together, I may have mentioned this before, I like to put together like color stories out of like palette or... Jameson and Smiths or whatever, and then just knit with those colors and maybe even bring in a color to substitute. Like if I ran out of the brown, I would pull in a different brown, but I still have the other color. So it all kind of, kind of coordinates. But I like to do that until I have either used up all the yarn or run out of project ideas. But yeah, so I end up with a lot of matchy, matchy sets and that's okay because I like matchy, matchy. So those are really cute. And the beret that I have that matches this is called uh, Winter Lights. And it's a tam and it's by Mary J. Mucklestone. And it like is this exact, I mean, this is a common motif, but yeah, I just thought it was, I like had like this whole set. So anyway, I'll show it all sometime. Um, let's do these guys next. These are Jameson and Smith two ply. I don't know the colors. Um, the pattern, oh, I'm putting this on the wrong hand. The pattern is Raven's Light, and it's by Harper B, who is yarn, disyarning, disyarning designs. And I love them. They're fantastic patterns. Fantastic designer. Oh, isn't that cool? This color in here is called Rosewood. Actually, I think this is a Jameson's of Shetland color it may not be Jameson and Smith and it's just like all the browns and the blues and the grays just oh it's such a cool color so cool anyway so you have the little bird skull the moon cycle and some mushrooms and then the palm is a really nice I almost think it looks like Victorian wallpaper or what's it called in paper in a cool book those are cool. I wear these a lot. I've made them for gifts. 
this is a favorite pattern and I will definitely be making more of these. Definitely. This is another pattern. Once again, you see, like I find something and I just make it to death. This is another one that I've made a bunch for gifts as well. And it is Underwing by Eric Husser. Husser? I don't know. This is Jameson and Smith, uh, two ply. Don't know the colors. Oh, aren't they pretty? Like, just the prettiest things. Mm. And that's what the palms look like. Once again, kind of the end paper or wallpaper effect on that. Oh, I love these. Love this pattern. And of course, I have another pair. Make sure I get them on the right hands the first time around. This is same pattern, um, under wing. And this time I used uh, Knit Picks palette in Shoal and Serpentine. My favorite colors. I've probably saw that before. Oh, and it's actually showing up kind of accurate. Oh, God. Oh, I just love them so much. Aren't they pretty? So those are my mitts. Um, yeah, I think I've even made some since I started this podcast and they've already gone off to my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, there's hair all over his face. Um, yeah, so I have a whole bunch of big stack of mittens. Um, maybe I can show you guys those or maybe I can do some standalones of hats shawls. I have a whole shawl wall. Like Amy Palco has a shawl wall. I don't know if you have seen that, but she's Meaningful Stitch, which one of my favorite podcasts. But um, yeah, so she has a whole wall of shawls that hang. And I kind of have the same thing. Um, I used like a quilt rack for the top one and it came from my parents' house. Um, anyway, I used that and then Mark made a matching one underneath because I have so many shawls. Um, I do wear them, like all of them. It's once it gets even remotely cold, I've got something on. So maybe I'll show you that sometime too. If that's a standalone video you'd like to see, just let me know. Um, or I won't do it in a podcast because I don't I honestly do not want to edit. <laughs> I don't, don't want to learn how to edit. So I know, I know, I'm so. I don't know, set in my ways. Um, okay, so that's all I have to say. Um, I'm not just going to ramble and ramble, but uh, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, kind of looking okay here, so that's good. And um, next week will be November, probably when I record, which is crazy because I feel like October just didn't happen, and that's unfortunate because it's like the best month ever. Um, I don't know. So let's make this last week of October fantastic. Um, I'm going to pledge that to you that I will do my best to make my last week fantastic, um, and enjoy the colors and the weather and candy. I don't know. Trick or treating, <laughs> not trick or treating. Um, and I don't get trick or treaters either. So if you're local, come trick or treat because I've got candy. And if you don't come and get it, then I'm going to eat it. And that's not what needs to happen. I'm not going to say that's not what I don't want to happen. I always find something to ramble about at the end. So, um, yeah, take care. Have a good week. Yay. Happy Halloween. Happy everything. Bye.